So when it comes to Mortal Kombat 11, Mortal Kombat 11 is shaping up to be an extremely well game. Everything looks like a polished game, and on top of that, especially if you're a Nintendo Switch owner, it looks like the Nintendo Switch version is going to play close to or at 60 frames per second. Overall, this is shaping up to be one of the best Mortal Kombat games. It looks like it's going to be a fantastic game. However, there is a but about this. It looks like Mortal Kombat 11 is going to have microtransactions in the game. Yes, you heard me correct. They are actually putting microtransactions in the game, but there's some good news to this story. It looks like all the microtransactions in the upcoming Mortal Kombat 11 are going to be cosmetic only. The main reason they said they're doing this is to speed up time. So for instance, there's stuff in the game you have to unlock over time by maybe leveling up your character, playing some of the story, playing online, whatever the case may be. But it looks like you'll be able to buy these items just outright with real life money with your hard earned dollar. And I guess that's not too bad considering uh, this, these are all gonna be cosmetics only. But I still wanna talk about my feelings about uh, microtransactions and paid paid stuff in video games because as a whole I just don't think it gives your game a good reputation. I know a lot of people in the gaming industry just flat out do not like microtransactions. Can you blame them? Especially with a game that's going to cost $60 and then you take in consideration all the extra money that you will have to pay. Usually when you buy a game for $60 you're expecting to get the whole entire experience at once. You're not expecting for things to be locked behind paywalls or things locked up that give other players a advantages over all microtransactions just don't give your game a good look whether they're cosmetic microtransactions or whether they're stuff that actually help you in game or stuff that's part of the game that's locked up behind microtransactions it just does not give your game a good look especially when they're triple a games when you take in consideration games that are games on like mobile uh, platforms like ios or android and they're free to play games or games that cost like 99 cents and then they flood you with microtransactions you can't really say anything bad about about those games well because you either paid 99 cents for that game or you paid that or you got that game for free and since you got that game very dirt cheap or most of the time free you have nothing to say of course they can flood you with a lot of microtransactions to get you to buy all these little different things in the video game because well they have they have to make money somehow it's either that or putting a lot of ads on the game and I think the best option for a lot of these companies is putting microtransactions because they know people will buy microtransactions at least going back to the case of Mortal Kombat 11 it looks like they're doing no harm with Mortal Kombat 11 and the microtransactions that are gonna be in uh, Mortal Kombat 11 but the main reason also I'm making this video is because you can't really trust companies out there in the gaming industry especially with modern day games and triple A developers one point they'll say oh yes all these uh, all these microtransactions in our game are gonna be uh, cosmetics only they're not going to give other players advantages or certain aspects of the game aren't going to be locked behind uh, paywalls and microtransactions but lo and behold what happens months down the road you guys know what happens these companies lie to you and some of these actually start changing their minds say no let's hide some of this uh, content behind microtransactions and they're not just cosmetic stuff or they'll actually give players an advantage when it comes to the online aspects of the game and they'll lie for instance I made a video a couple of, uh, I think last week or the week before talking about how uh, the new uh, Fallout 76 game that came out last year, uh, late last year, they said there was going to be no sort of microtransactions that give player advantages or alter the actual game. But lo and behold, what happens? They come out and say, yep, we're lying. We're pretty much giving you paid to win microtransactions in our game. We pretty much lie to you. So basically what I'm saying is anytime that there's a microtransaction in a video game, it may spell doom and gloom for that game because who knows what developers are really up to. But so far, Far, at least from what I'm seeing, Mortal Kombat 11 is shaping up to be a very great game despite the uh, microtransactions. At least they're all cosmetics for the time being. I said for the time being because, like I said again, who knows what these developers are really doing behind the scenes and microtransactions most people don't like in the gaming industry and for good reason. Also, 
the, the biggest culprit in the gaming industry for these shady practices either has to go to Activision or EA. Of course, you remember Battlefront 2 was a disaster with microtransactions, and then the latest Call of Duty has some really weird, bizarre uh, cosmetics when it comes to paywalls and comes to microtransactions. So you should be uh, slightly worried about this, but as long as they don't lie to us and as long as they keep their promise that these are only going to be cosmetics only, I think you really have nothing to worry about when it comes to Mortal Kombat 11 and these micro transactions anyway guys this is wayne from my tech news signing out